we have learnt that atoms of metals donate electrons, while atoms of non-metals receive electrons in order to achieve the noble gas valence electron arrangement. This is called the octet rule. Atoms form ions to be chemically stable. The octet rule can be used to predict the types of bond formed. Metal atoms have a lower number of valence electrons than non-metals. They prefer to donate their valence electrons in order to achieve a stable valence electron arrangement, the octet. By donating the valence electrons, they gain a net positive charge and become positive ions. Let's see some examples. Sodium atom has an equal number of protons and electrons, which are 11 protons and 11 electrons. This sodium atom with an electron arrangement of 281 donates one valence electron. By donating one valence electron, it achieves an octet with a stable electron arrangement of 28. Thus, the sodium atom now has 11 protons and 10 electrons. It has gained a net positive charge of 1 and becomes a positive ion. Aluminium atom has 13 protons and 13 electrons. The aluminium atom has an electron arrangement of 283. It has a greater tendency to donate 3 valence electrons. By donating these 3 valence electrons, it achieves a stable electron arrangement of 28. Thus, the aluminium atom now has 13 protons and 10 electrons. That is, it gains a net positive charge of 3 and becomes a positive ion. Non-metal atoms have larger number of valence electrons than metals. They readily receive electrons in order to achieve a stable valence electron arrangement, the octet. In predicting the number of charges formed, we still use the octet rule. By receiving the electrons, they gain a net negative charge and become negative ions. Let's see some examples. Chlorine atom has an equal number of protons and electrons, which are 17 protons and 17 electrons. The chlorine atom with an electron arrangement of 287 has a high tendency to receive one electron. By receiving one electron, it achieves an octet with a stable electron arrangement of 288. Thus, the chlorine atom now has 17 protons and 18 electrons. That is, it gains a net negative charge of 1 and becomes a negative ion. Oxygen atom has equal number of protons and electrons, which are 8 protons and 8 electrons. This oxygen atom with an electron arrangement of 2,6 receives 2 electrons. By receiving 2 electrons, it achieves an octet with a stable electron arrangement of 2,8. Thus, the oxygen atom now has 8 protons and 10 electrons. That is, it has gained net negative charges of 2 and becomes a negative ion.